to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Distant shores and the islands will see your light. Listen. As it rises on us, distant shores and the islands will sing your love. Right from where you are, you can lift up your eyes and begin to see the possibilities that are contained in scripture a life of dignity and honor and glory a life that is invincible results like chariots following you the good hand of god and his mercy upon your life it is from that standpoint you approach abba in prayer and then now the bible gives us the advantage in the person of the holy spirit he says when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth i will not leave you comfortless he says i will send one who will walk with you in this journey for the bible says we have a limitation and the limitation he calls it our infirmity in romans chapter 8 he says for we do not know what to pray for as we ought to that means he, god recognizes the fact that our growth is gradual but there are things you need now you may not have all the knowledge bank to to engage effectively the holy ghost comes as an advocate as an intercessor who can pray the will of the father accurately through you the Bible calls him a helper and that he can help our infirmity. The word infirmity there is not sickness. It is the limitations that come by reason of wearing a mortal body. Are you ready to pray? We're going to take a few minutes and please give your destiny an undivided attention as you pray. Do not allow the devil distract you. Forget about whatever bills, whatever issues. And let us join in prayer. The fervent, effectual prayer. There is such a description to prayer. As fervent and effectual of the righteous man availed much. Are you ready to pray? Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Whatever position you find comfortable, just make sure you pray. Just make sure you pray. Shalima Rasko Branda Katapratike de Belekatosia. Shapakatosa da Brandege de Balakosia Tabalandasia. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye have not, because ye ask not. Alanda salaka ta preska di la kaparus e preka de belaka tos kanti branda sharaka da balaka tos pray he that speaketh in an unknown tongue and defieth himself and defieth himself sana makata paratas kata branda ke paratos yata e prakos kati la parianda preske di balasia da bakatos 
Shima Nakata Baria Katush, Lakata Brandas Kate Laka Praska di Maracosia Kate Branding. Sati Balakata Panda Pratakasko de Malakatosh, Imbrakatus Katira Sabalakata, Leke Pros, Leke Tebrandos Kotobate Koshiga de Belegada, Sibenia Sabarata Katabranda Katabalakatosia, Imbrekete Parus Katila Kaparus Tega de Belegatos, Sada Melegata Patos Katabranda Kataparo Katashakate. Imbracatos koto protos kote leka te prada gada balagatos. Shemanda kate pros koto balika prada da kapalia da balagatos. Shade baka paratos kani bade prada gade balagatos. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen carefully, please. We are praying now. In John chapter 10 and verse 10, Jesus was teaching and he made a very profound statement. He called Satan the thief. He says, The thief cometh not except to steal, to kill and to destroy are we together so he reveals to us that satan can steal satan can kill and satan can destroy now let me connect it to a mystery and then we'll pray in matthew chapter 21 please give us verse 13 matthew 21 and verse 13 this was when jesus came into the temple when he came into the temple the bible says he met people doing business within the temple is that true they were exchanging in the temple and he was angry and the bible says he began to whip them there were a few people there called money changers their job was to exchange you would bring something and they would exchange all that was happening in the temple so when jesus came he threw everything down and he made a statement that will be our prayer point now he said my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have made it a den of thieves listen carefully do you know what he's saying he's saying at every point his house is one of two things either a house of prayer or a place where thieves are carrying out exchanges and that house is you you that temple of the holy ghost he said at every point in your life you are either a house of prayer or there are exchanges going through in your life my house shall be called a house a temple of prayer failure to be a temple of prayer it was lack of prayer in the temple that gave access for exchangers exchangers of destiny exchangers of all kinds of things is someone ready to pray i like you to pray and find that house back to a place of prayer my house this temple is a house of prayer that means the ministry of the thief should not find expression in my house the ministry of sickness and infirmity should not find expression in me because this house is a house of prayer pray pray let it be from the depth of your heart my house shall be called a house of prayer satan you have no authority 
to steal from this house to kill from this house to destroy this house because it is a house of prayer hallelujah hallelujah listen I want you to believe in this prayer that you are praying you are not wasting your time something is happening to you Acts chapter 28 Acts chapter 28 in Jesus name now please listen let me establish another prayer point in Acts chapter 28 when you read from verse 1 and down to 6 the Bible says when Paul had escaped the storm remember an angel appeared to him and he told them there shall be no loss and the Bible says they went safely and arrived at an island called Melita now verse 2 28 verse 2 the Bible says when the locals he calls them the barbarians the people showed them kindness watch this now Paul was about to reveal something that the people did not have the discernment to see the Bible says there was a viper hiding in the wood a viper a venomous snake that could it it could it could bite you and even kill you how did it hide that those who brought down the wood did not see it and they put everything together and while they sat down there as soon as the wood was on fire the viper that was hiding there suddenly became exposed if fire was not there the viper will still hide in the wood and you will not know that you are living with an enemy but as soon as fire was lit the fire exposed the viper listen can I tell you I know this about the prayer ministry there are things that you may never understand occurrences and happenings of demon spirits it takes generating energy in the spirit and suddenly you will begin to see that the things you could not understand are now making sense what, what, why, why am I receiving all these assaults from the place of work what is this when my promotion is coming in the place of prayer fire can expose the viper fire can expose the viper lift your voice and pray pray with this understanding that everything that attempts to impede the purposes of God in my life by the power of the Holy Ghost the fire that comes in this prayer the fire exposed the viper the fire exposed the cause of your pain the fire exposed the cause of the delays the fire exposed the cause of the disfavor the fire exposed the cause of the antagonisms Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Shabra katos koto prendegata. Lekata braska de shakata berekotos. Embrekatos. Eka shakata beretos keniata kasa. of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is God helping us Matthew chapter 12 from verse 43 Jesus taught us a very deep mystery Jesus was teaching on the activity of spirits 
and he said when an unclean spirit listen carefully is gone out of a man that it walked through dry places seeking rest and finding none next verse the bible says then it will say i will return to what the man is free but as far as the spirit is concerned it is his house and he says i will return to my house from whence i came out and when he is come he will find it empty he will find it swept he will find it garnished last verse the bible says he goeth and take it with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself and they will enter in and dwell there and the last state of the man is worse than let me explain something to you listen it takes a man anointed by God with spiritual understanding to cast out a demon out of another do we agree on that and then the bible tells us something serious that that spirit goes to the desert and when it goes to the desert where there is no man to cast it by itself there is a condition in the desert that makes that spirit uncomfortable and it will prefer to come back and fight with that man a desert is a place of extreme heat and that when that spirit goes to that place in the presence of that extreme heat the spirit by itself with no one to cast it becomes uncomfortable that means when your body becomes like that desert when your life becomes like that desert that the spirit becomes uncomfortable because the desert is a place of heat the bible says he maketh his ministers his angels can i tell you this listen you don't know how cheap satan is until you pray satan is as powerful as your prayerlessness makes him become that a spirit in a human body will require a man anointed by the holy ghost to get it out but it goes to a desert where there's no preacher no keyboard no drums no choir no protocol the heat in the desert will cast it back and it will come to stay in someone else that means when you become in the similitude of the heat of that desert your life and everything around you becomes a no-go zone for any operation of demon spirits is someone ready to pray you are praying with this understanding that I am praying to become in experience a flame of fire lift your voice and pray a flame of fire a flame of fire a flame of fire Saneka paroto sotokoto pariyata a flame of fire a flame of fire Don't be tired. Make sure you're praying. He pratos koto prakete pratos kate prende kate lekotusia. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Very powerful scripture. First Thessalonians chapter two and verse eighteen. Is it projected can you see it can we read it together one to read wherefore 
we would have come to you even I Paul once and again but Satan hindered us hold on wherefore your favor would have arrived since wherefore your lifting wherefore your destiny helper would have arrived he said I tried once and again but Satan listen I understand this scripture very very well let me tell you a story and then we'll pray sir I don't know how many years now I was praying one night true story and then my my ceiling suddenly disappeared in that vision and then I'm seeing this creature and it is looking at me having eyes that are as big as a human head I'm not exaggerating it looked like a dinosaur and it was looking at me red eyes and then it had a tail the tail had its own life you could detach it and it would still be alive and it was looking at me with fierce anger and he made a statement it says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was a statement but Satan hindered us you will you will be amazed to know how many things would have been easy for you but Satan hindered us now listen let me tell you this even though it happened with Jesus I want to explain something to you hmm. the centurion in one of the synoptic accounts pleaded with Jesus to come and rescue their child from dying remember that story while Jesus was on his way going another woman interrupted him and said please I have an issue of blood and he focused and was dealing with her issue by the time he was done in one of the synoptic accounts they said this other person had died timing matters in destiny hear me it was the delay of the bridegroom that made the five other virgins if the bridegroom came early all the ten they were all virgins the delay of the bridegroom made the oil of the five they all started well but the bridegroom was late I want you to pray with understanding that every hindrance I desire to come to you once and again only God knows how many things in Abuja have been authorized by prophecy to come to you they have tried they tried in 2019 they tried in 2020 lift your voice and pray with understanding I clear away every hindrance by the blood of the Lamb open doors that should have come lift things that should have come answers to prayer that should have come Alike paruska te brete ke toska via da box. E brete te kotos koto brete ke te le katos. Shames konde brandi katos kiata. Se te brandi ke di bash. de breketo proskoto maria tabada doshane e breketo skoto prato skoto prende ke te ba e prakato sopro sosi ke te lekot makata prende ke perusiata e kreto skoto shoto prende ke te ba retos
Alléluia. 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 Now listen very carefully. I hope you are not tired. We'll soon round up. You will marvel and wonder the results you will get from this prayer. Believe me. Now listen. Once upon a time in Bible days, there was a criminal called Barabbas. Listen carefully. Many of you will be surprised the reason and the explanation for disfavor around your life. There was a criminal called Barabbas who had been troubling the people and they apprehended him and, and kept him. And then one time when they caught Jesus also, listen to me, Pontius Pilate brought Jesus to stand and brought Barabbas to stand and they asked the people, who do you want? to be crucified and who should be released there was a spirit that came upon the people and they looked at Jesus and said this is the one to crucify and release the criminal how do you in your right mind release a criminal so don't be surprised that there can be four people in the office who are supposed to be promoted and in spite of your capacity that there is an orchestration of darkness where good can be called evil and evil can be called good he said do not allow your good to be evil spoken of that means if you keep quiet and you don't pray you can be doing good but a perception can come on your good and it will be seen as evil are you ready to pray open your mouth and decree and declare my good will be rewarded as good my good will never be evil spoken of. Barabbas should never be released. A criminal in the stead of a righteous man. Please pray. let your good be evil spoken of do not let your good be evil spoken of oh man of god oh businessman oh career person contend in prayer do not allow your good to be misrepresented hallelujah 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 praise the Lord let me show you a mystery in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1 the Bible says and Abraham was old and well stricken in age help me finish that scripture and the Lord had blessed him in how many things so God is able to grant rest round about. Now please come with me to Acts chapter 26. Acts chapter 26. Acts 16. Acts chapter 16 from verse 25. Acts 16 from verse 25. Now when you begin to read contextually, you will see that Paul casted a demon out of a lady who brought gain for her masters by divination. Is that true? On account of that miracle, it boomeranged on them and they, they now took them and kept them in prison. But there's something I want to show now. A prison is a place of confinement. It's a place of limitation. The Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them 26 suddenly there was a great earthquake hallelujah so that the foundations of the prison were shaken please read the next sentence everyone and immediately all doors how many doors 
how many doors immediately once there was an earthquake all doors financial doors open all doors open a god can give a man rest round about he says all doors open all doors open listen when you read second kings chapter 5 will not turn there for sake of time the bible says naaman there was a man called naaman he was the captain of the syrian army he says he said he was a valiant man in war but he was leprous thank god for the areas you have gotten results but for the sake of one other area you must insist in prayer that in this year all doors open lift your voice and pray all doors all doors all doors all doors all doors in the marvelous name of jesus all doors all doors open all doors doors of favor open all doors doors of speed open Relationships open, doors of fruitfulness open. Hallelujah. 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 Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself, share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. The face of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.